Welcome back to Let's Play Paper Mario The Thousand Year Door. Let's go ahead and uh, switch over to Gumbella as we make our way through the store. <laughs> Maybe I should get Bobbery for this instead. I saw them immediately come after you. It's just like, uh, Gumbella, hide. I need the old grizzled vet with me. Actually, not really. But there's still two more. Yeah, I mean, there's not like a whoop, whoop, whoop. Eh. Well, two more is not the same as you know six more. Oh, there's three. That's that's a problem. Hmm. And now we have to play chase the Mario. Run around until he gets tired, and then attack him. And Bobbery can't do anything when they're in the air. Cool, cool. <laughs> That's how he appeals to the masses? I gotta give them what they want! Yeah, just like a big old wind up and then kaboom! Oh, it's not gonna go well. But No. Uh, let, yeah, let's get out of here. This isn't going well. This is not going well. Yeah, we get it. We get it. Is that how oh. you distract all the enemies? By just like throwing money at them? Here! 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 Yeah, it works in Yakuza Zero. <laughs> well, that's not gonna work. Ah! Alright, I'm, I'm doing something wrong here. Let's see. Okay. Yeah, just like last time, and that's... Oh, it's faster. Oh, Duh! No! It's going too fast, but those extra two spikes give me an idea. Yeah, I was about to say, can you roll under it? Yeah! Hell yeah! Look who's the Mario Master! It's me! Yeah, I totally did this in, Mar in the Mario days of old. I'm the Mario Master! Yeah, I know I'm missing something here. God. Bobbery, blow me upward! Ah, uh, well... Like, I think we're doing good on Shine Sprites as it is. Someone's definitely gonna get uh, leveled up uh, when we get back to town, most definitely. So, Mario now has that ice attack, so... Oh, it's beautiful. Sweet! Oh, it's beautiful. It's so good. That doesn't work for spiked enemies, mind. Wait. Oh, man. That sucks. O only fire enemies, but that's still good. Very handy in this chapter, especially. I love how those bubbles, like, get really close to you and they're, like, blowing you a kiss. It's just like, hmm. Ah! A kiss from an old flame! Ah! <laughs> I could try... So, it works for Mario. Does it work for the partners? Nope! Damn it. Mwah! Oh, that kiss is so hot. Oh, hey, somebody, hey, yep, hey, rock. Get out of here. Wait, there were multiple people with rocks. You have to do that again? No? Yeah, but if I if I smash somebody in the face with a rock, everybody else will oh, maybe I shouldn't throw a rock then. Ooh. You know, I wish Mario had a special ability called public shaming. <laughs> where you go into the crowd, you find the guy who's tossing rocks, and then he just holds them up and go, goes, Do you want to be like this? Well, huh? Mario al well, Mario always had that ability. I mean, you look at the menus, there's always a thing that says cancel. Well, I mean, canceling is just like when you're already neck deep in the ground. Mario starts the hashtag Bowser is over party. And then everybody goes, wait a minute, wasn't that a mode in Mario Party 10? That was fun, let's do it! Aww, that just made me realize that Mario Party 10 will never come to the Switch. Maybe that's for the best. I mean... Having you along with it made it tolerable. 
But you know, uh, what, I don't, what I don't get is that everybody's like, man, I hate Super Paper Mario. I'm like, what the hell are you talking about? How do you hate Super Paper Mario? It's great. It's not like my traditional Paper Mario. Well, neither have the last two. Count Black is such a neckbeard. Count Neck. <laughs> oh, come on! <laughs> you deserve that. You're kidding me! Knock the fedora right off your head, Mario. You totally <laughs> deserve that. Milady! <laughs> no! No! Mario, please, Let me no. show you my anime collection! <laughs> Mario, big fan of Naruto! You are actually killing me. <laughs> Please. Feel the pain. <laughs> so this is what you feel like when, when you go into the Discord and see we're all talking weeb talk. Oh yeah, oh yeah. So that's why it's always rare whenever there's an anime that I like. It's... You know, it's like finding... Oh shit, what's that snake called? Suchinoko. Thank you, it's like finding a Suchinoko. Come on, I thought you were the weeb here! Oh my god. Look, I don't <laughs> play Metal Gear as much as you do. <laughs> that's the one thing I remember from that. That and, uh, I believe Dawn of Sorrow also had a Suchinoko. That you could find it's a, it was... it's a fish of legend, man! Come on, give it the program! Oh, fucking god. Kill me. You, you know how the, the internet culture has basically prescribed to the fact that you can be whatever you want on the internet, but just know there will always be somebody who, you know, detracts your namesake? Like, me being a fucking weeb can easily go up to another one and just say, ah, fucking weeb. What does that make me, though? What does that make you? The fucking hipster? Hippie? Whatever? <sighs> you know, we need to come up with a name for you. <laughs> Careful now! <laughs> It'll be wholesome, I swear. <laughs> now nah, I'm probably some kind of hipster or something. Well, I mean... S some kind of hip. Hmm. Now I can't think of any, like, extra hip names to give somebody. Because, like, what are we trying to describe? The fact that you like what you like, and there isn't much that you like? It's the fact that I have contempt for things that people do like. Well, that just makes you a Redditor. But I don't go on Reddit. It's, it's the idea. <laughs> you don't have to go on Reddit to be considered a Redditor. No, I think that's, that's kind of crucial to the whole thing. It's all in the mind. Now that's an incel. It's not what I am. <laughs> no, no, you're not. You're not. I actually, re I actually <laughs> respect women. You know. You're not a Chad. You're not a Karen. <laughs> There's not much that we can actually give you in naming. Uh I'm me. I'm a unique entity. You know, I think if we just continued calling you a jester, that would be perfectly normal. That that suits me best, actually. Mm-hmm. Like I show up in my little jester hat, it's like, what's the deal with anime? You ever seen those thighs? What are you protecting? Oh. <laughs> the weeb jester. <laughs> Except he hates weebs. You see. Anime nowadays is kind of like a cabinet in my kitchen. Nothing but pans. I was just thinking of Lazy Susan because it's so fucking lazy. Yeah, don't twist the Lazy Susan too much, otherwise they're gonna get a panty shot. I hate it. I hate it. Like, everybody asks me, why did you stop doing reviews, and there's like a miles-long list of why. Because you couldn't accept the... 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 Uh, disappointing look on my face. Well, it's not that. I can deal with your disappointing faces all day. <laughs> it's it's mainly just, like, there was nothing good. It was all crap. It was all the same shit, just with a slightly different coat of paint. She's like, wow, this is really not interesting. 
And then Pop Team Epic came along. I still take credit for killing your review channel, though. Oh, you can take credit for it all you want. Because every for time... My, for my voice is the last voice you hear. Every time we talk about that, I believe the answer changes every time. It's like my the original <laughs> idea behind my four letters. They were always going to mean something different every single time, and that was going to be the channel's gimmick. It was never the same name twice. Now scooping cat litter. Mm-hmm. Something like that. That's what it would mean. Oh, by the way, we're cursed again. Yes. I bet you anything we're going to turn into a paper boat. I actually really like this, you know, because he's like, well, Oh, oh, you're going to curse? Oh, you, you already figured it out? Oh, okay, well, fine. Uh, well, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Fools! Appalling stupidity. Hey, man. Be cursed! <laughs> no! Oh, oh that's that probably too harsh. Eesh. See, this is the nice guy. The nice guy curse. <laughs> He's the type of curse that goes, Hey, you know what? Your boyfriend? Kind of a terrible person. Not like me. You should go out with me instead. <laughs> No! Fuck you, you bitch! The nice guy. Well, uh, our nice little curse we have here is uh, we can turn into a boat. Nice. <laughs> Wait, where did the extra white pieces of paper come from? That doesn't that happens, look anything like Mario. That happens when he turns into a, a plane, too. Oh, well. I guess just going with the motif. Now your hitbox is part of your body! Ah! <laughs> you know, with the way it's looking right now, and, you know, I can't really discern anything from Mario, but that one foot just, like, sticking out on the right side of the boat, it's almost like Mario's, like, spread eagle when he's folded like this. Well, his legs do look pretty far apart. Wait, does he even have legs? Hey, wait, that's a good point. Mario, looks oh like, no! Looks like he's just a body with feet. Does anything have any legs here? <laughs> I just realized the, the theme for the next Paper Mario is going to be Paper Mario and the Popsicle Stick Puppets. <laughs> you don't ah. need legs when you're just on a Popsicle Stick, bouncing around everywhere. Paper Mario and the Curse of the Knees. No, not the knees! So that's basically what our uh, little little boat can do here. We can now go on the water in places where we're specifically designated to go into water. And that's it. That's, that's about it. Wow. That's amazing. Yeah, I know. It's a pretty ship curse, isn't it? Uh, I'm falling asleep. My ship has sailed. Wait, I've already used that one. Damn it. Well, uh, luckily, the curse didn't cost that much. Because mm. it was on sale. Damn it. It'll never end. It'll never end. <laughs> okay, you deserve that one. Well, I, I I gotta be really serious. I gotta be really firm about this. Mm -hmm. I must be stern. All right. So there's a couple things I gotta do in order to go forward here. It's a little little convoluted, but we can figure it out. So uh, first thing we do is uh, let me think. Let's try in here. There's something in. All right, so we got to get through that gate essentially. Mm-hmm. And well, we can't get through that gate right now, obviously. Ah! You know, I just realized something about Paper Mario: The Thousand Year Door. What's that? There's so many opportunities for nautical puns that it'll never get a port. Ha <laughs> ha! That's good. 
Uh, you know, people consider this one of the best Paper Marios. It certainly does have mass appeal. Yacht. <laughs> I thought your audio cut out. <laughs> so I was waiting for it. It's just like, wait a minute. Is he going to... Uh-oh, I think I lost him. Oh, look at that. So now we're down here. Well, that didn't help at all. Or did it? You may think that we just uh, wasted time, but now we can't change back. Which means we just have to move forward. Oh, look at that. Didn't even notice that at first. This almost feels like a Zelda dungeon. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. I mean, we got our we got our uh, item of the dungeon, the paper mm -hmm. boat curse. And now we can use it to our advantage. And open up new areas. Well, I mean, this is the same area, but like oh, a gate my handle. God, a gate handle. So again, we, we got to do just a, a little bit more backtracking. I hope that's okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right, you ready for more expert timing? Yep, let's see it. Expert timing, go. All right. Yeah. Here we here we go. Oh boy. All right, all right. Oh boy. That was right. pretty good. That was pretty yeah. good. Yeah. Expert taming. I just realized something about this chapter in particular. Yes. This is the one where you've had to use your different allies the most. And. We're gonna use as we get more allies. We're gonna have to use more of them. Oh, uh, speaking of which, which ally did we miss? Were they important or? Obviously not. Well. In fact, I was like, wait, I missed, I missed somebody. How can I miss? The hell? There's optional party members. That's pretty awesome. So that means he must have been like a bandit or something. Maybe well, Miss Mouse. Oh well. So maybe now we one. Gotta, maybe gotta one go. day when the gag comes to fruition, and I actually do get a copy of Paper Mario: The Thousand Year Door. You know, I'm find thinking out myself. We head back to town. Should mm -hmm. I take an episode to do some side quests? Uh, maybe just one, just to show them off. Maybe just you know, like. Two or three, maybe, just to make a day out of it. Yeah, give, give a little taste. It's like, this is what you're missing with side quests. Ooh. Ooh. I, I mean, I have that miss a gig for something. Might as well keep it. Oh, shit. <laughs> so if you can't tell, maneuvering with the paper boat isn't, like, perfect because I can only like, face left and right. I can't go, like, up and down, which makes getting through these, uh, the, those, uh, gaps in between a little difficult to do. Some so I gotta, like, go waves. back a little bit. Yeah. And there we go. I made it. Wow. No, ah! I didn't. <laughs> no! All right! All back. All the okay. way back. Oh, God. What a pisser. That's terrible. <laughs> Mm. Are we at a sports stadium? Because I certainly see a lot of waves. <laughs> Actually, no, sports stadiums are empty. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, so, uh, you, you don't have cable or anything, right? No. Okay. So, uh, at work, we turn on sports games all the time. Yeah, and I did it. I'll take a bow. That was pretty good. If you actually take... Oh my god, what is happening? Those are all the people that got stuck here! Oh! Laho's just about to say all the stadiums nowadays that have like five or six people in them and they all look so disappointed that there aren't huge crowds, but we've got a huge crowd right here. Can you imagine though? Like, let's go people! Let's go! It's just, just one person shouting. One person. 
So, okay, the point is to get over there. We gotta go through this pipe first to save these guys. Yeah, okay. I think it'll just take you right over there. Do -do. Oh, hey, look at that. <clears throat> well, one cool thing I like that they're doing is uh, in the stadiums, they have like live streams of the actual audience, so they're all superimposed in the stadium seats. <laughs> it's like, man, doesn't that feel Ghost in the Shell cyberpunk dystopian future bullshit? Yeah. Oh, and uh, some of the baseball games I've managed to see, they were all cardboard cutouts, and one time <laughs> the, the guy hit a homer, and it hit one of the people in the audience. It's like, wow, that kid just took it right in the face! <laughs> So we hit this switch, and... Aha! Now we gotta go hit that other switch. So Let's this isn't too bad. No, right? no, nah, nah, not at all. This is easy. Yeah. I'm waiting for the, the kicker here. Like, what's gonna end up happening? We're gonna save him. That's what's gonna happen. Poor Yoshi. He just keeps getting tossed in the water. Hey! All right. Oh. Well, that's handy. No pushing, no shoving. I love the fact that they can render so many characters on screen. I I realize this. They're really trying to show off here. Wait, who, wait who's that? What? Was that Don Delfino? That was Frankie! And the Don's daughter! Oh, this is where they went? Yeah! Well, hell yeah! Tropical getaway! They just happened to be taken over by pirates and ghosts! Okay, alright. And just jump over it. Oh my like, god, all the way back the way there! Back there? What fuck the you! What the fuck is wrong with this game? Jesus. You really not remember where I jumped off at? Come on. I think he spawned here, boss. Oh, really? We can't just put him on the that platform he was just on? Nah, it's too much effort. There. <laughs> Yoshi, no! I am! Nice ring you got there. Oh, yeah. What is that? Two dollars? I like the fact that their ring is actually like a brass knuckles. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Just get, this fits over the whole hand. God, it must be really hard being a Pianta. Like, no fingers, just a thumb and a nub. No mouth, either. <laughs> Makes sense the way they talk now. <laughs> That's what I was thinking. <laughs> and then you got that one guy who managed to speak English. I'm a chuckster. No! Yeah! <laughs> Terrible. So I'm thinking maybe there's a place I can heal here. I mean, that toad in the back looks kind of suspicious. No heals, only play. No heals, only play. So it looks like Cortez, the guardian of the Ooh, treasure, is up ahead. Cortez. Gonna have to end up fighting him. That's uh, gonna be. That's uh, gonna excuse be me, pain. excuse me, pardon me, pardon me, excuse me. Well, maybe there's a block up ahead that we can. Ah, there it is. Oh, good. Boa? Oh, gee, I wonder who that could be. Hey, wait a minute. Haven't we seen this guy before? Maybe. He seems kind of familiar. I think he spoke to us, the studio audience, at one point. Is he a good guy? 
What are you talking about? It looks so trustworthy and nothing like, you know, any villains that we've faced in this game so far. Not at all. Well, I'm convinced. Let's go after him. Wait, you didn't save. No. Okay. Let's do it. <gasps> Whoa. It's a lot of treasure you got there, man. Whoa. Oh, <laughs> cool. Hello, Pirate Ghost head. King Cortez. See, I thought we were going to get like the shark pirates from Super Mario RPG, but this is so much better. This is what happened to him. <laughs> oh no! <gasps> no! Alright! It's oh, time wow. to fight Cortez! Okay, right into it. Dude, he looks so cool! I know! This is a great boss fight. Alright, first up! Swap over to Goombella and get a little info on this guy. It's Cortez, <laughs> it's the dreaded so cool. pirate spirit who haunts this island. Oh, he's only Oof. got 20 HP. Yeah, that's not too bad. <laughs> oh no. We need to call our brother Luigi to help us out with this ghost pirate. Oh no. All right, never mind. Ow! Wow, that hits hard. All right, all right, all right. I'm gonna power smash your bone pile. If you know what I mean. <laughs> ah, my bone pile. Okay, so, I think, I, so, I, think uh, I get it. Yeah. You can hit both, because that's not really for bonking Ooh. or jumping. Cortez's HP is the same as the Bone Pile's HP, and and, and, and uh, no rocks, no no. God, I didn't even see that. That's so amazing. I so assume then, get rid of the Bone Pile, get rid of Cortez, and then he can't come back. Now nah, Cortez is connected to the Bone Pile. Oh. Well, it's still taking out HP, so that's good. Oh my God! Jeez. It's a lot, a lot of hurt he gave us there. Yeah. And, uh, goodbye? And he's gone. That was Cortez. Mm. Phase two! Oh, oh he's like a bone snake. That's cool. Which means he probably hurts a hell of a lot more. He's got different attacks. His, I think his defense has increased, too. And I got anything that can really help here? Let's see. Eh. Hang. Hmm. Nah, not really. Thunder Rage, maybe? Let's go ahead and swap to Bobbery. I feel like he's better suited for this fight anyway. Oh, good oh. old. Oh, oh, good oh, grady goody oh, good. Oh, Happy days, indeed. Kill him quick. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Uh, I like what he's doing. Uh, there's, there's no way this is going to do 8 HP. Damn uh, it. All right, this is going to hurt. Ah, oh. Jesus, 8 Yikes. Apiece. Okay. Alright, finally did it. He's he's done for. Phase three. Phase three. Yes! He's just ahead in weapons now. Woo! Alright. And the well, weapons is... each have their own health points attached oh, to it. Fuck that. Hit him with a big. <laughs> just a big. Let's try um. Hmm. Well, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna get a whack a bump, heal myself up. That's that's sheesh. Mmm, that's some good whack a scab. 
Oh, would this be a good time to use Bomb Squad? Just out of curiosity. Well, whoa! Can't use Bobbery for that, and... Ow. Ow. Oh, great. Oh, great. Oh, they're all attacking at once! Oh, wonderful! Oh, this is fantastic! I'm so excited. Oh, glad you healed yourself. Good lord. Yeah, I could not have, I would not live through that. And then he attacks too. So I'm right back to where I was when I started. I said, no rocks! You got the power of Luigi in the crowd. Come on, you can do this. Big All old right. special move. I'm gonna have to do Earth Tremor then. Come on, it's gotta really? do enough. I hope this is enough to take him all out, because I can't go through another turn of that shit. Don't you love multi-hit bosses? No! no! Alright, alright, that's that's like four hits on some of them. Oh, it was five, good. Yo! Right. But notice that they're not dead. Yeah, I saw that. Uh, Yoshi? Uh, no, we're gonna go Vivian on this one. She can attack anything no matter what. I love how when Mario gets hit, just at the beginning of his turn, he just puts up a thumbs up. It's like, I'm okay! Yeah, there we Ooh, go. That was good. Let's do, uh... Fire, yeah, Fiery Jinx? No? Let's do Shade Fist for now. Yeah, it's doing a lot of attack. Yeah, and he's on fire. Good, good, good. Oh, great. Oh, no! He ate Ooh. Luigi! No. <laughs> he just straight up killed Luigi! No. And his weapons are back, and he healed himself entirely! Oh, goodo! Oh, happy, dappy goodo! Holy crap! Alright, kill him, dude! Damn it! Fuck my timing up, but luckily we got Fiery Jinx to help us out. A, B, X. Oh, I messed it up. But that was a stylish move? Hi. Oh, all right. Ah. Hey, hey, whatever works, that hurt. All we right, got, quickly, kill Cortez. Here. Yeah. All right, time to worry. Time to, Not, time, to start, time to start dabbing the brow with sweat. Now you got this, so you check it. Yeah. Yeah. He's gonna hurt himself with a burn. This next turn. Just block it. D he's gonna, block he's, it, he's, dude! He's gonna bite. Okay, now go straight for Cortez. Let's, or use uh, another, like, fire blitz or whatever it was. Boom! Yeah, alright. Woo! Now don't eat no more of my audience! Can I have my brother back, at least? And we finally defeated him. Oh no! Or, or did we? I'm too small! Okay... You can't kill what's already dead, man. Well, here, how about this? I just want the crystal star. Yeah, I don't want your treasure. Yeah, yeah, I just I just want that thing behind you. That, that's it. Everything else you can keep. I don't even know where this thing came from. And just like Johnny, he's like, oh, well, if you, want, you just want that, that's fine. You can take it. You serious? <laughs> it just reminds me of J. Jonah Jameson. You serious? You, you serious? <laughs> I'll, I'll let you have this crystal star if you get me pictures of Spider-Man! Well, hey, there we go! That's another crystal star we just got! Holy crap! And we learned Sweet Feast! I bet that's Ooh. Sweet Treat, but more now. That, that, that'll come in handy, I hope. Oh my god, is it really the end of chapter? Oh my god! And that's the end of the chapter! It's It's so short! What is going on? Unless Cortez, Scourge switch. of the Seas. 
Mario soundly defeated this fearful spirit and claimed the Crystal Star. Perhaps the peaceful citizens of the world no longer need fear Cortez and his fell ship. Hey! The only problem remaining is how Mario will escape this isolated island. Eh, well, yeah, it's... Uh... Mm. And could there be another problem still hiding beneath our hero's nose? Hmm. Well, we're going to have to find out next time on Let's Play Mario the Thousand Year Door. <laughs>